Hey guys, Mary from SVG Cuts here with some fun little quick treat bags for Halloween. Um, they're, I think they're awesome because you can put two of them on a single sheet of 12 by 12 paper. Um, actually, the Frankenstein one is the only one that um, you cannot make two out of one piece of paper. But um, the other four of them you can uh, very easily fit two on one piece of paper and they're like minimal pieces. This one actually has the most pieces, but still pretty simple. Um, the other ones are even simpler, and you can even speed it up even more than I did with mine by just straight up gluing it together instead of adding um, dimension and inking and all that stuff. So if you wanna take your time a little bit more, if you feel like it, you can, or if you wanna make a lot of them, um, you can do that too, and they're still gonna be adorable. So I think they're perfect for holding um, a little baggie of candy or you know some little fun fun little goodies or um, or a cookie I had some cookies in some of them too so that's fun for some extra special trick-or-treaters or you know some of your friends I think I'm gonna give some of my girlfriends um, the extra ones that I have and uh, that'll make their day because uh, kids will love it but adults would love it too so and um, I really had a lot of fun um, with the with the little um, pipe cleaners that I used. I found these at Michael's this year. Um, this is 2017. I found these at Michael's, um, but whatever you have that you wanna use is gonna look cute. You could use a wire if you want, or just a plain pipe cleaner. Um, either way, whatever you wanna come up with for yours is gonna be awesome. So these are so simple, you probably don't even really need to watch me put them together, but in case you wanna see, here we go. So for our cute little bag named Jack here, I've got this circle and two small black circles for the eyes. And then the bag here is just one part. And this one, you can fit two of them on one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. So if you wanna make a lot, it's nice and easy to do that. So we can glue this right onto the back side if you want, or if you wanna create some more dimension, you can use some dimensional dots or glue dots or what, whatever you have to um, pop it out a little bit. So I happen to have these uh, 3D dots by Thermal Web. That's what I kind of use for my go-to um, dimensional adhesive things. So I'm going to put a couple of them on the inside, just like that. And then I'll just carefully 
put my circle on the back. Then while it's still flat, I might as well go ahead and glue my little black circles in place. And on my original one, I just glued them right in the center, but you could glue them off to the side if you want. I'm gonna do that on this guy. Just a little bit to the side there. And then I have this white gel pen. Um, there's a couple different brands of them. This one happens to be a Uniball Sino. Um, so I will just draw a little circle, kind of like a reflection in the eye. It just makes it look a little more cute and lifelike, I think. And there you go. So that gel pen stays a little bit wet for a few moments. So you want to be careful if you're moving along with your project, like I am here. But then you just want to glue the sides together like this. And then we can just put some glue on this bottom, on the bottom tabs there. And glue that into place as well. Nice and easy and quick. So that's adorable, and I have a stash of really fun um, pipe cleaners that I got from Michael's, or was it, no, it was Michael's. I looked at Hobby Lobby. I did not see any quite as festive as these. They were in the, um, the seasonal crafty section. It's kind of like in the middle in like a special area of the store. Um, these were all in a big package with some pom-poms, um, kind of by like the foam shapes too, if you're trying to find them. Otherwise, whatever you've got is going to be cute too. You could do a plain color or whatnot, but I can't resist these super cute striped ones. So you could just use it as is. I think I like mine better if you trim off a good healthy inch of it. I have some wire cutters that I use for that kind of thing. And then I'm just going to feed it through and bend it about a quarter of an inch with about a quarter of an inch of it sticking through. Just bend it and pinch it. And then if you need to adjust it at all, you can do that. And then you can put whatever you want inside, like a cookie or some candies. I have these really fun cookies inside some of them. Or if you wanted to use um, little baggies, I got these at Michael's. They are four by six inch treat bags. They're in the food crafting section. So if you wanted to put some candy corn or caramels or something inside your, your little bag, it's kind of fun to do that. So I bought this candy as um, props for my, for my photo shoot and my video that I made of these bags for when I show you guys what they look like. I like to create a whole little scene so they look cute. But I bought all this candy and now my husband and I keep eating it all so definitely want to uh, give it away and get rid of it. So that'll be a super cute way to get rid of some of this candy. For candy. This one probably has the most pieces, but still nice and simple. And the bag itself looks like this. And then we've got the three parts that make up the candy corn, the two eyes, and then the back part. So I really like the way that looks on the black. That would be cool if the, the box itself, or the bag itself was black. 
So if you want, you can rub some ink around the edges of your shape. I do that a lot with my projects and I did do it here. It's very subtle, but it kind of makes it look dimensional as if there's a little bit of a shadow, as if that thing is really round and dimensional. So if you're making a lot of these and or you just don't want to take too long, you just want to kind of whip it up, that's totally cool. You can skip this step, you can skip the inking, you can skip the dimensional dots and everything. Um, you can make it even quicker. Totally up to you if you feel like taking your time and adding little extra special touches, that's cool. But it's still going to be really cute even if you skip all that and you just glue it together. So, I will, I really am going to give this to somebody, not sure who yet. Um, I might actually save it for my, my girlfriends and give these to them. So since I, I really am going to give this to someone, I am going to make it extra special and ink it a little bit. If I was making a lot of them, I might, I might skip this step. Unless I felt like still making them all extremely special. Totally your call. So, now I can glue those down. This one is definitely a little too intricate and delicate, I think, to use a dimensional glue dot type of thing on it. That's a personal, personal choice. That's what I'm going to say here. But if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to glue, pop this out with a pop dot, you could. I'm going to do that. I've got my 3D dots from Thermal Web. But there are different brands of them also. These just seem to be the ones that I can always easily find at the craft store, at Michael's, at, um, I don't know, on Amazon. So then, Put the little eyes aside and you can either glue or um, dimension dot this out, whatever you think. I'm going for more dimension. I'm going to rip this one in half. They're just, they're so, so, so sticky. It takes a little, little skill sometimes to not get stuck. So. Then we can just pop that on the back and glue the little eyes onto the front. Nice and cute. This would be totally adorable and appropriate for um, you know, like a younger, younger kid. Plus, my favorite Halloween stuff is always like kind of cutesy anyways. Kind of more like classic, cute, um, cute stuff. That's my favorite, usually, personally. But I also like the kind of elegant, spooky looking stuff. You'll have to leave a comment below and say what um, what's your What's usually your go-to favorite style for Halloween? Because, you know, there's like really scary, there's uh, cutesy, there's elegant. Actually, I've been seeing a ton of Day of the Dead kind of themed stuff this year. Just all of a sudden this year, like everywhere, all different stores, which is cool. Like colorful, kind of doodly. Um, skulls and all that kind of stuff, which is cool. I haven't made anything like that. I think that would be super fun. And I don't know what happened, but every single store has a bunch of stuff, so I'm behind the ball on that. So for these guys, I'm going to go with, hmm, let's take a look. I'm going to 
go with the uh, with the black, the solid black. I just made that call. So it's a plain average length of pipe cleaner, trimming off an inch, sticking it in a quarter of an inch, and bending it up and around on both sides. And then Then I will take my little food safe 4x6 candy bag and get some M&Ms in here. These are cookies and cream M&Ms, which are, they're kind of good, but they're kind of, I don't know. They're clearly artificially flavored, which, you know, could be a bad thing. But I think every once in a while, from time to time, Probably won't be the end of the world. Personally, I I would go for the the plain, regular classic ones or the peanut ones. But there we go, super cute. And now I can put my little little white dots with my gel pen. So next for my super cute little Frankenstein bag, I have the face here, the insert with the two eyes, and then the main part of the bag. So this is the only one that actually, where you cannot fit two of these on your um, 12 by 12 piece of paper. Um, all the other ones you can, so, so there's that. Um, so all we really wanna do basically is we're gonna put this on top and we're gonna put this on the inside behind it and then we'll put the eyes wherever we want. So, if you want, you can ink the edges of your shapes. Not necessary, but it looks kind of cute, especially on Frankenstein. So this ink pad here is kind of running out of its juice, but that's what I did on my original Frankenstein here, is I rubbed an ink pad just pretty much all, all around. And it looks even more, you know, Frankenstein-ish, if you ask me. So you could do that with a dark brown or even a black, whatever you think looks cool. And then I'm going to glue that right onto the front. Oh, here's a good green ink pad. This might have some more ink left on it. Not really. Let's see. But mm, dark brown would be cool. Oop, it's a little too dark, I think. But that's okay. I'll just do I'll just do a gentle little little bit. Just to add a little interest. There we go. So I'm going to glue this onto the front. And there's just the ever so slightest little hair of a border around the sides and the bottom, if that helps you line it up. Not that it needs to be perfect, but if you're wondering exactly where that goes, it is, it is just slightly having a border around the sides and the bottom. So next, I can get my dimensional dots. There are a few different brands of these type of things. These just happen to be ThermoWeb 3D Zots, and I like to use them when I want to add some dimension to something. And in this case, dimension makes it really cool, but it's not necessary. So you could just glue this inside, but I'm going to affix it that way. And I'll put my eyes right in the center. And before you glue him down, you can kind of play around with it and maybe make his eyes not so uh, centered. Whatever looks cute. If some, of you, some of you guys have made these with um, googly eyes. 
which is adorable. So there's that too. I was also thinking it would be really cute to get a package of those beads that have letters on them. Kind of like, um, kind of for kids, but really for anyone. Like the classic little white plastic beads with the black letters on them. I've seen them at Michael's and Hobby Lobby and craft stores. And you could um, kind of thread them onto the handle, maybe like here, you know, and put someone's name right there. Would be cute as long as they're, the hole is wide enough to put, um, put them through. I thought about getting some and trying to do that, but I just wanted to wrap it up. But that would be adorable. So as you can see, I just put some glue on those bottom tabs and folded up the bottom tabs into place. Now if you want, you can take your white gel pen if you have one and just draw two little dots like so. I just think it looks cute and lifelike and I like it. And then whatever color you want to use. You can. Plain ones would be cute too. And once again, I'm just going to cut off like a, about an inch or so, feed about a quarter inch through there, and attach this just like that. And once again, if you wanted to put a little cookie inside of a bag or just a couple fun size candy bars, I have these little bags, they're 4 by 6 from Michael's in the food section, and I think some candy corn would be cute in here. I'll go ahead and do that, because Lord, Lord knows I don't need all this candy corn sitting around at my house, because I'm not the only one that keeps eating it every day. It's impossible to resist when you know there's candy corn in the house and M&Ms and caramels just calls your name so the more I can get rid of this the better I also bought cookies as props for my pictures and uh, I ate all of those <laughs> well I didn't eat them all myself but I had a lot to do with it So the mummy is really cute, I think, because of his little bandages, which are nice and simple. These sides just fold over, so you can do it however you want. You can overlap them over, under each other, whichever way you like, just like that. And you can glue them down, or you could use some dimensional dots like these. We'll see what happens here. I'm going to just kind of play around, but you might want to rub some ink if you have a, an ink pad sitting around. This is a really good um, time to use that for inking the edges of this shape. So it makes it look more defined and makes it look really cool, I think. So this is just a medium-ish brown ink pad. You can't read the name on it, but it's in this stack. It's called a queue of ink pads by Colorbox the cat's eye ink pads. And I really like them for this purpose. Something that I do on pretty much every project that I make. And I learned it at a workshop at a scrapbook store called Archivers that I used to go to that unfortunately is no longer around, which stinks because they had a, a lot of really fun inspirational products. If you walked in there, you would just totally be like, I have to make so many things now, which is fun. It's a fun, uh, it's a fun feeling, being excited about a project, as I'm sure you know, because you are a crafty person if you're watching this, so I know you're, I know you're feeling me on that one. So anyway, now I get these on Amazon, mostly. Sometimes I find them at Michael's. I haven't really looked that hard at other craft craft stores. I don't know. But any kind of small ink pad will work. And these are especially handy for doing this because of the shape. 
I do have quite a few different colors and if you shop around on Amazon a little bit, you can find some of them are priced a lot better than others. Just like anything else, there's no rhyme or reason sometimes to the prices of things on Amazon. Sometimes the same thing will be kind of way less or way more. I don't know. So anyway, those you can glue down however you want. Here's my original one, but it doesn't really matter which way these guys go. So I will just, I'm just going to see what happens here. As long as the uh, final guy lays flat-ish, as long as the back of it lays flat. Actually, this is supposed to be up a little more, but it doesn't, doesn't actually really matter. So I'm going to do mine like this this time. So as long as you're not covering up his mouth, you're good here. end of this one's pretty small. So if you were to glue all these down and not use dimensional dots, it's still going to be super duper cute. So I don't think you should feel like you have to use them just like I am. I mean, it does make it pop out more, but if you glue them down where they're slightly away from the side, that's going to make the middle kind of pop up too. So if you want to make a lot of them without having to, you know, buy a whole entire box of these guys, that's Seriously, totally fine. So next we're going to glue his face right on the front of the bag. And there's just like a hair of a border around the sides, top and bottom. And then we can flip it over. And you can glue this in place, or you can use dimensional dots for more dimension. Since I have a very abundant supply of these dots and I just keep getting more, I'm going to use them on this. But again, you could just glue it and it'll be super cute. So I think these eyes would also look cool in red, like glowing crazy, crazy cute mummy <laughs> would be cute too. I really like this little guy because he's, uh, he's so scary looking, but he's so cute too, which is funny. So, got his little eyes right in the center. I think this project would be perfect for a boy. Like I, my friends both have um, sons that are at the age where I think they would actually think this is really cute or really cool I should say. So as you can see I just glued the side into place and then I'll put some glue on these three bottom tabs and fold the bottom up into place. So next I will so next I will put my little handle on and I like this one for him and once again I'm going to just trim off about an inch with my wire cutters then I'll stick it through about a quarter of an inch and bend it up and I did find these really cool pipe cleaners at um, Michael's in the Halloween section but plain ones would also look really cool. It doesn't have to be these. If you can't find these, I think that's okay. So 
once again, I'm going to take my little four by six uh, bags of candy, candy bags that I got in the food section at Michael's, and I'm going to put put some little caramels in this one. So I am going to save these for <clears throat> I am going to save these for Halloween night when. Um, handing out candy when some of the kids that I know come by have a little something extra extra special for them or maybe give it to them sooner so that um, it doesn't get smushed in their little trick-or-treat bag super cute little caramels ready to go next for our cute little Vince the bat I have the pieces here. The bag is really simple, just like this. This is the front that goes on the front, and then the circle goes behind it, like this. And then the two eyes just go right on the uh, on the front there. So, if you want to make it more dimensional or add any little touches, you could you could do that if you want, but you don't have to. So I'm going to do it with all the little extra touches, but these are completely optional. I am just rubbing a white ink pad around the edge of my bat. Just adds a cute little touch. But if you're making a ton of them and you want to you know, simplify the whole process, you could skip all these extra steps and just glue it together and it's going to be adorable. So. I will go ahead and glue this guy down. Although, instead of gluing it down, I think like my original, I'm gonna use some dimensional dots. I've got these 3D dots from Thermal Web that are handy here. And I feel like making it dimensional, so I will. So I'll just carefully line it up. I'm centering the nose and the eyes. There we go. I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing with this. And once again, you could just glue it down if you wanted to. I'm going to actually rip this one in half and put that here and here. that guy and then I will glue his eyes just like this then I will put some glue on the side tab here Fold that around. And then put some glue on these three bottom tabs and glue the bottom down. And then I'm going to put my handle on. So I've got my pipe cleaner and it's a whatever the standard length of these craft pipe cleaners is. I am not actually sure, but it's the same length that all the other ones are at the craft store. I'm cutting off about an inch and that's only because I think that's a nice length for it. You can play around and if you want it to be the full length or shorter or something different. You could even just do plain wire and make it kind of jagged and crazy. Whatever you feel like. That's what I did for mine and then I can put some candy or something inside. So I'm going to put some candy corn inside this guy and then I almost forgot I can take my white gel pen and draw some little circles up 
like so. So there you have it. Nice, fun, quick, simple projects for Halloween. I hope you have a great time making them. And if you do, you'll have to share a picture with us, as always, on um, the SPG Cuts Facebook page or put it on Instagram and tag us or um, make a blog post on your blog if you have one and uh, pin it on Pinterest. There's lots of ways to share and I always love to see what you make and so do the rest of our crafty friends. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time and happy crafting.